fellow book lovers, it's Annette. Today I'm filming my top priority standalone TBR. Um, I sort of got the idea from Top 5 Wednesday a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, when the topic was um, Top 5 books you wanted to start yesterday. Uh, top 5 Wednesday was started by Ginger, Ginger Reed Slaney. But um, I couldn't limit myself to just five books, so I think I'm gonna make a standalone video and then I'm gonna film a similar video about the series that I've been meaning to continue or start for the longest time. So I've got 12 books and I'm gonna go from the least top priority to the top top priority uh, book. And um, yeah, so number one. I have The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. Um, I read The Secret History by her and it's one of my favorite books of all time. So I want to read some more from her and um, The Goldfinch is a book to do with art and like the criminal underworld but um, that's pretty much all I know about it. I don't know, I bought this book already last September and I still haven't got around to it, so it's high time that I pick it up. Number 11 I have The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Um, I don't know why I haven't read this yet, because I've only heard great things about this book and I started this back in August when it was the book explosion book of the month, um, but I only got to page 24 before I got distracted by some other book. I um, I got the impression from this book that it's something to do with magic, maybe, but um, the back of the book only says that um, the circus arrives without warning, no announcements preceded. It is simply there when yesterday it was not. And that's the whole plot. So, very mysterious. Um, um, I'll be looking forward to reading this. Then number 10 on my list I have All the Light We Can See by Anthony Doerr. This book cover is probably one of the most gorgeous book covers I've ever seen. Um, this is a historical fiction set in um, the Second World War. I think there's a boy and a girl and somehow their paths cross and that's all I know about this. But it just won the Pulitzer Prize for fiction as well so I really need to get on this and see what it's all about. Number nine on my list is another uh, historical fiction uh, book set in the Second World War and that is The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. I still haven't read this, I've seen the film so I know what happens. Um, everyone loves this book and it's narrated by death so um, very interesting premise uh, and it tells about a girl who steals books so yeah definitely on my priority list with standalones number nine i have the great gatsby by f scott fitzgerald um i have to say i haven't met, read many classics and i kind of i read um Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger and um, Of Mice and Men by uh, John Steinbeck uh, in high school and um, I didn't like either of those books so I was kind of put off by classics for a while and I really need to get on classics. I've been buying these like really pretty editions to motivate me and this is like less than 200 pages and I really enjoyed the film so I think I could enjoy this. Next up I have Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, another book that I've been meaning to read for months now. Um, I think I've kind of got spoiled already, like I know what's gonna happen but not quite so. Please no spoilers in the comments, I just know that there's been like a, well, like there's a couple and the woman disappears and then the husband gets blamed for the murder of her or something like that. But hopefully I'll be reading this soon. 
Then I have The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender, another gorgeous book um, by Leslie Walton. Um, I bought this already like a year ago when I was in England last time. Um, it's a magical realism book about this girl who was born with wings. Um, the back of the book says love makes us such fools. And I don't, I don't know anything else about this, but I've heard it's really beautiful and uh, I really need to read this. Then I have Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. Um, this tells about a woman who's been sent, uh, sentenced to die in Iceland um, early 1800s and um, this family is forced to take her in and they hear the different side of the story and uh, anything else I don't know so but sounds very interesting book uh, we'll be reading this soon then I have Ready Player One by Ernest Klein uh, another book I've only heard good things about um, I think it's sort of dystopian where like the reality is an ugly place and people are escaping the reality to this virtual world of games and stuff and um, there's some sort of like puzzle or prize to be solved um, and um, I don't know uh, another thing I've heard about this book is um, it's full of like 80s pop culture references which will be interesting because I love 80s it's just been on my TBR for the longest time and I really need to read this Next up is My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Waga. Um, I think it's about these two teenagers who kind of make a suicide pact um, to commit suicide together. Um, I just finished reading All the Pride Places by Jennifer Niven, so I'm taking a breather from like the mental illness books because they're kind of heavy going. But um, I re I'm really interested to see it, like read this book and see what it's all about. Um, I wasn't like that impressed with all the bright places, but I've heard quite good things about this one. So, um, yeah, will be interesting to see if it's any better. Uh, and number two on my priority list is In the Shadow of Blackbirds by uh, Cat Winters. Um, this novel is another kind of historical fiction. It's set in the First World War and the time of Spanish influenza. Um, there's some sort of paranormal elements with ghosts as well and it seems really interesting. Like It has like all these creepy photos in the book um, which makes me think it's kind of similar to Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And I absolutely love that book, so hopefully I will enjoy this as well. And number one on my list, my top top priority standalone, is Vicious by V. Schwab. I just finished reading A Darker Shade of Magic by her and I absolutely love that book. So if you haven't picked it up already, go and do so, because it was amazing adult fantasy. Um, and this as well has like got amazing rave reviews and um, all I know about the plot is there's these two flatmates who are like experimenting with superpowers I think and then something goes wrong and um, we'll see what happens after that but um, I'm really interested to see what this is about because I loved the swaps writing in A Dark Shade of Magic and I think this is gonna be great and I really need to get on this so that is my number one and that's it for my standalone TBR. Um, like I said, I will probably do a similar video about the series. I need to continue or start. Uh, and I guess it, that's it for this video. So I will see you next time. Bye.